What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. So you may be looking at this card thinking what are you even talking about? I've seen this card before but I'm specifically talking about this exact variant of the card. As you can see there is a big Disney 100 gold stamp on this. I know you could get this as a rare in the normal Disney 100 set but this particular card you cannot pull from opening booster boxes. This has only recently sort of come out. So where has it come from? Um, I will go into that in a second. You may notice that it also says not for sale in the bottom right hand corner. And not only that, but on the card code, it ends with a PR, which stands for promo. So where did I get this? How can you obtain this card? Let's get into the information that you've come here for. So if we head on over to the Weiss Wars Japanese website, and we're going to be translating that into English just through the browser. We click on official event and you may have guessed already official event. You got this by winning this card in a particular way by competing in the trading card game. So this will list the current and upcoming events. But first of all, we're just going to look at past events and see where this originally came from. So I do know where this is because there are a lot of events here. But if you scroll down and it is the WGP 2023 preseason match. So this is an event in the lead up to the official uh, World Grand Prix 2023. So as you can see here, there are three locations where this is held across Japan. And if we keep scrolling, we get some more information about what's involved at the event. So they run title cups and Weiss Wars, the whole idea of Weiss Wars is you pick your favorite set, your favorite characters, your favorite series and IP that why Schwarz have done a set on, you build a deck on it and you compete and play that against someone else who could be running a completely different deck, completely different set, whatever their favorite series is. And you play that against each other and you can just run decks on whatever you like. So the idea of a title cup is actually a bit different. You're actually finding out who is best at that particular set. So they will list a few sort of recent sets that have come out around around about the time or have been popular within the last year and you will play against other people so with disney 100 for example you will be competing against everyone else who will be running a disney 100 deck as well and the whole idea is to see who's best at that particular set so if we continue scrolling we can see what gets awarded and how it gets given out so as you can see here we are on the title cup section of the site and it gives you some information about your deck, you know, the different types of decks you can use and the title cups will be running, the tournaments, how long the games are, things like that. You've also got prize information. So basically, as it says here, if you advance to the third round, you will get the foiled stamped PR card by title. So if you're playing Disney 100, then obviously you get to the third round, then you will get the Disney 100 card that I just showed you with the gold stamp of Steamboat Willie on. Now, if you win, you get this special commemorative shield. So that will be one per event. Um, these shields do look really cool. I've seen some images online of them before. Um, but yeah, so the card is one. Well, the card is if you reach the third round. Now, we don't know. Personally, I don't know. I don't play the game. I especially don't play it in Japan. So I don't know how far the third round is, if that makes sense. And I don't know if that changes each time. Does the amount of rounds depend on how many people are at the event and entering that title cup? Or is it always the same? If you're watching this and you do know that information, please let us know in the comments because it would really help to gauge an idea of how many copies, you know, could, could it be that there's only sort of five people who make it to the third round and only five of these copies are given out at each event? Or is it 10, 20? You know, at this point, it's it's anyone's guess unless you know that information. But that is how it was awarded. You got to the third round and there were three locations that that was held on. And that was throughout August. Now, there is another event where this card will also be awarded. So if we go back to official events and we look at the current and upcoming events. So if we go to the World Grand Prix 2023 and yeah, really interesting. They've completely changed the way they're doing these sites. It was really cool when I clicked on this earlier and I saw this because Japanese sites are typically 
really behind. So to see a Japanese site like done this way with animations and looking modern was really surprising. But anyway, this is the WGP 2023 event. And as you can see here, it's held at a lot more locations. It's not just a pre-season event. So we've got, uh, I'm trying to count <laughs> three, six, we've got eight events, right? So eight locations where the WGP events will be held. And looking at this, we are going from September until December. Um, that's obviously the venues and the scheduling. We do have title cups. So I think if we go over to tournament over here, we will see some more information on that. Now, yeah, it's that one. So title cup information, as, yeah, as it says here, compete against each other with the same title and aim to win with your favorite title. So if we scroll down, Again, the same information. We've got the Disney 100. They are running another Disney 100 title cup. And it's the same thing, advanced to the round, to the third round, and you get the foiled stamped card. Uh, now, a few more sets have come out and will be coming out between the last, the preseason event and this event. So that's why you'll see a few other IPs and titles appearing on here, such as um, King of the Fighters, I think it is. We've also got uh, Bocce the Rock. So um and Dengeki Bunko. So there's quite a few more being held. Um it's normally they normally hold the title cups for the recent sets. Obviously Disney 100 is I'm trying to think uh to be fair it's not that not that old. It's probably about eight months. Eight months old at best at this point uh off the top of my head. So it makes sense why they're still running some title cups on that. But again third round we've got a lot more locations this time so there be a lot of more. Uh, there be a lot more copies of this card surfacing now. If you're interested in getting this card, I definitely don't recommend using eBay. It will be massively overpriced. I think there's one on there for like three, four hundred pound, and that is from a Japanese seller. To be fair, you head on over to Buy. -E. It allows you to buy on Makari, which is a Japanese site which you can't really get access to. You'd need a VPN. You'd need a Japanese phone number. You can just go on this website, buy e, and you can pick up the cards. They will buy it for you and forward it on at a tiny fee. So if you head on over here, you do need to know the Japanese uh, like kanji characters, the correct ones to use to, to get it to come up in the search results. As you can see here, there is actually, as of right now, a copy for sale, £123, 21,000 yen. Uh, I don't know. Can I highlight this? It's a link, so probably not, but just trying to think what it'd be in US dollars. I'd imagine it's probably sort of 150, 160 maybe US dollars. Um, let's just convert the yen to, yeah, so it's saying here 141 US dollars, um, but it's also saying 116 pounds, whereas that, you know, their currency conversion is a little bit off. So, yeah, so 21,000 yen for the copy. Um, of that winner card. Bear in mind that these WGP events, let's just double check that none of these are actually currently running right now. I think it was September to December. Um, so potentially some have happened. Yeah, so we, we've got, yeah, we've got uh, this one here, which has happened. Um, by the time this video goes up, this one here probably would have happened as well. So. Yeah, bear in mind the dates and how many of these cards will, will start to show up. And the fact that, I mean, I bought mine before these events when it was the preseason. Um, I actually got mine for a total of, in, including the shipping. So obviously you're going to have to pay for mail forwarding. It costs around 15 to 20 pounds. So yeah, anywhere between 20 and 25 dollars, I'd imagine in the US um, for a single card. Um, so my total cost for my copy of the Disney 100 Total Cup Steamboat winner card, well, third round or above card, is I paid £85 in total, including shipping and any of like the small fees that were involved. Um, so that one is quite a bit more expensive, but I've seen them a bit cheaper. Obviously, it depends. Currencies will sort of go up and down, so there'll be some variation there. As you can see right here, 8,900 yen, £52 plus 15 to 20 pound in shipping. This was roughly, I think I paid 60 something pound and it was about 
10,000 yen when I grabbed mine. Um, obviously, this copy is sold. It looks like potentially the next the alternative is this one, but it's quite a bit more expensive. And as you can see, there are some of the other title cups here and the prices do vary. We've got the Spy X family um, selling for 38, 40, sort of 7,000 yen. Um, we've got the Licorice Recoil selling for quite a bit more, nearly 14,000 yen. But again, I think that was one of the Total Cup cards um, that was at the pre-season and also will be at this WGP 2023 event. So let's just double check that quickly. That and that is also here yeah so that one that's that one there as well um so yeah just just bear that in mind if you're looking for these cards um avoid ebay <laughs> avoid ebay is my tip for that and just come straight to buy uh there are some other cards so there was some sort of title cup similar in the past for some of the events from last year i believe obviously you can just go to uh the official event page and if you go to past events and sort of look through some of these, you've got Bushy Road Card Fight, you've got the World Grand Prix. Um, but yeah, if you look through these and just sort of scroll down, you'll find the title cup and prize information eventually. So as you can see, there was one for Pixar actually. Um, we had an Overlord Volume 2. So we got all of these actually have gold stamps. So bear that in mind. We do get title cups. Um, in English, but they seem to be held very differently. We don't get Total Cups at the big events where there's only a few locations. We seem to get Total Cups at store level. So there's loads of Total Cups held across many, many stores. And we typically don't get uh, gold stamps on them. I know that Overlord has a Total Cup coming out and it is actually getting this exact card. Or, or this has happened already, actually. I'd imagine it's probably already happened because Overlord 2 has been out a little while. But the title cup is getting this card just without the gold stamp. And obviously in English because it's the English title cup. Um, but obviously for sets that are Japanese exclusive like Disney, uh, Pixar, the, there's only ever going to be sort of this copy of that card that we're never going to get an English title cup, uh, especially gold stamp and, and things like that. So... The Japanese exclusives, then it's obviously the only way to obtain that particular card. Um, so yeah, I mean, I hope you found that information useful. If you did, please hit like. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.